Hello everyone, welcome back to Mad About Cards and Crafts. Today I'm sharing this cute card using products from the Not Too Shabby Shop. This is the first card that I created with this Spring is in the Air card and I was not thrilled with it. I decided that I wanted to try to do some uh, scene, freehand scene building and I just wasn't thrilled with the results and so I came back and redesigned the card and that's what I'm sharing with you today. As you can see I am using my Faber-Castell Polychromos on the craft cardstock. This is Nina Desert Storm cardstock and I do not pay much attention to the colors when I'm coloring so I apologize. I will list the color families that I used below so I do keep the pencils out and write down what pencils I used. I'm just not going to have them on screen showing you which order they are in. The polychromos are super easy to use. Once you get the hang of them they layer so nicely and are so smooth it's just like butter. It's They just come out beautifully. And on the first card that I did I was super happy with the way that the critters came out. I just wasn't happy with some of my color choices uh, such as right here I'm doing the rainbow order on the umbrellas backwards because initially I did these particular colors red orange yellow on the duck and the duck is an orange and a yellow and I didn't like how it kind of blended in with each other so I switched it up a bit and made those design changes and that's one of the beautiful things about card making is you don't have to put your stamp set away and say okay I'm done I've made my one card you can redesign and use them in many different ways so while the scene while the placement I should say of these little critters is pretty similar I did change up the card this is again the spring is in the air stamp set Jamie's shop will be listed in the description box below I will put a link there she came out with four adorable stamp sets I only purchased two of them right now I started with the seasons that were in so I got the spring is in the air and then she has a teacup one and I can't remember the name of it and so I'll be making a card with that soon enough but I did purchase those two sets and there are four a summer set like a picnic-y type of set and then a beach set so I would suggest that you click that link head over to her shop and take a look last weekend her great design team they are amazing did a blog or a YouTube hop I should say and there are tons of cards and inspiration and the stamp sets are used in many different ways. They do highlight all four of them so you can get a look at how they used some of the other stamp sets. If you click on her link that I'll have below you can go to her blog and you'll be able to connect to that YouTube hop or you can type in the not too shabby shop and see the um, links. So anyway, back to the card. I am going to layer up the rainbow colors I will on these umbrellas and then I'm only going to color one of these for you, the little handles, because they're both colored exactly the same and I didn't think that you needed to watch me color both of them. I will list, as I said, all of the products below. And I do have a question for you. So I don't use affiliate links. And what affiliate links are, are a way for you to shop and at no extra charge to you. And I would get a commission off of the products that you purchased using my links. That being said, I do list the products that I use. If I used the affiliate links, links, excuse me, it just makes for quicker shopping and 
you know, I don't know if that's something that you're interested in, if that's something that you want me to add to my channel, I would be more than happy to do that, but um, I need you to tell me if that's something that you're interested in because I have not signed up for that particular feature on my channel. I am going to be participating in several hops coming up. One of my Team Tiny friends is actually um, has actually reached a milestone, so we're going to be celebrating her. And when I do post that, I hope you head over and hop along with all of the other creators. But the one that we're celebrating, I don't want to give anything away, but um, her channel is fantastic, and so we are excited for her. You can see on this bunny right here, I'm using Cool Grays, and for the Cool Grays, I am doing a lot of shading where the bunny's head is under the umbrella because that's where the shadow would be cast. I did color the ears in the flesh tones of those polychromos, so I just used the light and the darker. Um, off screen, I did have to shut off my camera, and so off screen, I color in the eyes with some. Uh, well, you're, you're going to see the black portion of it, but I will come back in with a white gel pen and then I will also add some eyelashes to make her look a little girly. I'm using those flesh colors on um, the cheeks and then I will also use the glaze pen to put some freckles on both her and the little ducky. This past week, we were remodeling our bathroom. When we purchased this house, the bathroom had a beautiful shower, but they had taken out the bathtub and only had a single vanity in the master bath. So we are sprucing it up and uh, we added a new vanity, some new lighting. I'm gonna put a chandelier over the bathtub that we're going to have installed and we put up the wainscoting with a beautiful chair rail and thick molding at the bottom so maybe I'll post pictures when we're finished but I'm a bathtub type of girl and it was super disappointing not to have a bathtub in our master bath so we are getting one of those freestanding bathtubs and we'll have one here shortly when I color this little ducky up, it looks like I'm using oranges, but actually that's like a, a dark yellow ca cadmium, I think it is, and um, and so it has that yell that orange tint to it. And again, I'm using those darker colors under the umbrella to get the shading, and then I will use some of the lighter yellows to uh, brighten up the spots, the areas where he is not so much under the umbrella. You can see the bunny, you can see the cute little eyes, and I added the whiskers with just one of the polychromos, one of the warm grays. When I colored those boots, I obviously used the blue tones, um, but for the bottoms I used warm grays to do the shading and then I added a highlight using one of that really light cool gray pencil and that just gives it a little bit of uh, depth and dimension and again I love how these critters came out I'm super happy with my coloring um, of the critters and I love this card so much more than the first one we are having a blustery day here in South Dakota. It has, um, the wind has been horrific and we did get a dusting of snow and it's just chilly. So we went from last weekend, it was very close to 70 degrees and today I think it's only going to be in the 30s. So winter is back. This is typical spring. Uh, thus the spring little critters that I decided to color up because this just seemed to fit the mood for this time of year. 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and hit the notification button to um, receive notification of when I load a new video. And if you have any questions or comments, I love to hear from you. Leave them in the box below. Here's something that I changed up on the card. I did decide to come in and put little puddles under their feet instead of um, grass or dirt or anything like that. So these puddles are going to ground my critters. And then I will come in with a darker blue and just add a little shadow underneath their feet. I do use the Honeybee Stamps Fall Shower Stencils. I use two of them, one for the raindrops and one for the clouds. And when I do the clouds, I pretty much just trace two of the clouds out and then I take a warm gray pencil and add a little bit of fluff to uh, the edges and fill it in with a cool gray to get some different tones. And then I didn't put in the whole footage of the stenciling of the raindrops because I came back and wasn't happy with the first application. I wanted more and then I applied it a second time and decided I wanted even more. So it is dumping on these little critters and they are so lucky that they have those cute little umbrellas to keep them dry because there is a lot of rain going on and I was super happy with the results. I used the Nuvo Glitter Paste in Moonstone, which I'm almost out of, to get um, some sparkle, which is really hard to capture on camera, but I think that this card just turned out fantastic. I'm going to mount it on a I think I cut this down to three and three quarters by five, and then I put a green piece of cardstock, I believe both are paper tray ink, that is cut down to four by five and a quarter, and then I use a red piece of cardstock and that is four and a quarter by five and a half. I will put some fun foam behind that little uh, craft piece and that is my card. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.